Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. Abiola David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text split custom function using the new lambda function. So let's get started. Now, the lambda function was announced by the Microsoft Excel team on December 3rd and it is currently available in the beta channel of Office 365 and Excel for Microsoft 365. So let's see what the function does. So I'm going to just type in lambda. Now the function creates a function value which can be called within formulas and it has a parameter or calculation. So let's see our scenario. Based on our sample data, we have these sales records showing the dates, sales manager, state, customer type, items, units, price, and total. Now, all these data are actually in each of the single cell. So what I want to do is to split all these into different columns. And of course, we'll be using the Lambda function with combination of other function to achieve this operation. So let's start come to cell B1. Now I'm going to come to the formulas tab and in the defined names group, you can click on the name manager or define names. Now both will lead you to the same place ultimately. When you click on the name manager, just click on name and you have this new name dialog box. Now for the name, it's going to be the custom function name. So it's going to be um, text split and of course it's within the entire workbook which is the scope so let's write our formula okay hover here i'm going to start by typing lambda open parenthesis now for my parameter i'm going to just use split my data into columns you can actually use whatever you want then let's put in a comma and the next thing i'm going to do is to deploy the filter xml function which is the filter extensible markup language so for that i'm going to just type in filter xml open parenthesis now the first argument is the xml so for my xml i'm going to just use combination of two letters which are y and z and you can even use whatever you want okay so single quotes angle bracket okay and i'm going to use y close that up and the angle bracket z close that up and i close the second double quotation and i use the ampersand sign and i throw in the substitute function open parenthesis the first argument of the substitute is the um text so i'm going to click on cell a1 and this is coming as an absolute cell reference so i'm going to make it to be relative because i'm going to put down the formula so i'm going to press f4 one two three comma now the next argument of the substitute is the old text now based on our data set we have the commas as the delimiter so i'm going to put that inside double quotation comma and the next argument of the substitute is the new text now for my new text i'm going to just do a single quote angle bracket and i want forward slash z close that up single quote and the angle bracket and i want z and i close the second quotation and of course i close the substitute formula ampersand sign again i want single quote angle bracket forward slash z angle bracket another angle bracket and we want y inside and i close the second double quotation and this is the formula for the xml argument of the filter xml function comma the x part is going to be single quote double forward slash z close that up and that's all close the filter xml and close the lambda now because i understand that it's going to deliver in rows so i actually want it to be in columns so that we can have date sales manager and the rest in columns so i'm going to carefully throw in the transpose function open parenthesis and finally this third close parenthesis so everything should be fine let's just go through it so that if there's no error you can proceed Okay, these are fine. So click on OK. All right, now let's 
try this out okay so b1 takes splits okay so we are just calling the function open parentheses click on a1 and I enter okay oh it's showing error all right let's go back here I made um, this to come straight away okay and that's all f4 key three times and I close this save changes and let's try text split okay open parentheses a1 close enter boom it worked so let's copy the formula down okay amazing can you see that let's apply the date here come down here and choose the short date that's cool so we have actually done a magical work with the new text split custom function and the lambda function made it possible okay so this is essentially how we use the lambda function to create a custom function and this is just the first video of many videos to come on this lambda function so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please do subscribe to my youtube channel and share widely as much as possible comment and give likes okay thank you and bye for now